Let's talk about ties, what they are, and how to go about practicing a piece that has ties. Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Martino, I'm the founder of the London Saxophone School. Guys, we're here to help you master your skills on the saxophone, whether it's with lessons, workshops, masterclasses, and whatnot, we're here to help. So if you wanna work more closely with me and my team here at the London Saxophone School, whether it's in person or online, you can book your lesson at the link here below. Also, be sure to download more rhythm exercises inside the Music Vol folder. You will find everything here below in the description. Music Vol folder is a collection of free resources on music and saxophone, so that's all for you for free. And for those of you who are in London, on June 19th, we're doing our 12th saxophone concert, so come along and join us and support our students. It'll be awesome to see you and to meet you there. So the very first thing we wanna look at is what are ties? So ties and slurs, you wanna know something, that ties and slurs look exactly the same on paper, but they have a very different job. So the job of ties is to link, is to merge two notes together, two identical notes, okay? So if we have, for example, a B tied to another B, regardless of the value of those two notes, those two notes are gonna be merged together. So the value of the first note is gonna be longer, it's gonna be elongated, okay? On the other hand, slurs tell you where to tongue and where not to tongue, essentially. So if we have a B slurred to a C, it means that you have to tongue on the B and then slur the C, okay? They're not merging any notes together. So ties only merge, let's say, two identical notes, okay? Now let's do these very simple exercises. Now, the very first thing you wanna know is that when a note is tied, okay, you want to respect the value of, of the note that is being tied, for example. A very common thing is that students forget about the note, the, the tied note, and they skip. So everything is just gonna be out of time, okay? So let's start with this. Metronome at 60, okay? We're just gonna beat four quarter notes to start with. Super simple, okay? One, two, three, four. Bam, 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 bam nothing big, okay? Now, we're gonna tie the first two notes and the last two notes. So we're gonna tie one and two and three and four, okay? So we're gonna get a longer note. Ready? One, two, three, and go. Da, da. Again, three and four. Da, da. Right? So when I tie, you know, let's say these are my notes, okay? One, two, three, and four. When I tie, these two become one and these two become one. Make sense? Okay. So if you notice, when I'm tying, whether it's one and two or three and, uh, or two and three or three and four, it doesn't matter, okay? I'm still thinking about every single beat, okay? I hope this example with the, <laughs> with the fingers works, okay? So the thing is that you don't want, you, you don't want to skip the note that is being tied because there's still a space in there. Make sense? Okay. Now let's go into eighth notes, okay? So first of all, let's just beat um, eighth notes, okay, for a whole bar. So that's eight eighth notes. Now we can also call these pizzas. I've done a video on counting rhythm that I'm gonna pop it up in here, okay? So um, eighth notes are one and two and three and four and, right? You can also think of them as pizza, 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 okay? So let's do it this way. Let's do um, four pizzas to start with. I'm just gonna say pizza because it, it's cool, <laughs> okay? Three and four. Pizza, 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 okay? That's fine, that's eight eighth notes. Now, what happens if we tied those eighth notes? Okay, so we have pizza. What about if we tie those those two? What do we get? We basically we get quarter notes. Check it out. One, two, three, four. P P P P. Three and four. P P P P. You know, I'm saying P because we're thinking about pizzas. You know, 
but the pizza is actually being tied, so I'm not saying the tsa. It makes sense, okay? So, that's pizzas, okay? What about if we only tied the two and the three? So we go, pizza, pi, pizza. Make sense? Try it with me. One, two, three, four. Pizza, pi, pizza. Okay? Cool. Now, 16 notes, okay? What about if we just do a bunch of 16 notes for a whole bar, okay? Now, I'm gonna refer to 16 notes as avocados, avocados, because we have four syllables and that makes sense, okay? It's easier to visualize, okay? So let's just do a bunch of avocados for one bar. One, two, three, four. Avocado, 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 avocado. One, again, two, three, and four. Avocado, 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 avocado. That's fine, okay? That's pretty, pretty straightforward. Now, what about if we tied avo and cado? Avo, cado, avo, cado, okay? What do we get? Eighth notes, okay? So we get Ah, ka, ah, ka. But I'm still thinking avocado, avocado. Every single syllable, it's really important. I'm just tying the first two together and the, and the three and four together. Make sense? Check it out, together. One, two, three, four. Ah, ka, 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 ah, ka. Ah, ka. That translates into avocado, avocado, right? When the two and the four and the 16 notes uh, are not there because they're merged, they're tied together. Make sense? I hope that makes sense, okay? Now, we're gonna do a little exercise that mixes a little bit of tied uh, notes here and there so we can actually apply this to some music. Now, this is a six bar exercise. It's not a big deal. It's not really long, but it gives you an idea of how to approach something that has ties, okay? So if you're learning something on the saxophone that has ties, the very first thing you wanna do, the very first thing you wanna do is um, ignore the ties whatsoever, okay? And basically tongue the notes um, that are supposed to be tied, okay? So you just ignore the ties whatsoever, okay? And play everything as written, okay? That will allow you, the brain, to understand what is happening rhythmically, and then when you put them back, it's gonna be better, okay? So for this thing here, we're gonna put the metronome at, at 60, as usual, okay? And I'm just gonna vocalize it, okay? Without any ties whatsoever, okay? So for quarter notes, I'm gonna say yes, just because it's one syllable, okay? For eighth notes, I'm gonna say pizzas, and for 16 notes, I'm gonna say avocados. Make sense? Check it out. One, two, three, four. Yes, 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 yes. Pizza, yes, pizza, yes. Avocado, pizza, yes, yes. Pizza, pizza, avocado, pizza, pizza, yes, yes. It actually makes you hungry after a while, <laughs> okay? That, that makes sense, okay? So I will repeat it this way <clears throat> with the metronome without any ties whatsoever, okay? So you actually get to understand what's happening rhythmically, okay? And where everything falls on the beat or off the beat or whatever it is, okay? The next step to do is to actually put the ties in, okay? So let's identify the bars that have ties only. That's what we care about, okay? We don't really care about the, the bars that don't have ties because we're working on ties. So we have a tie on bar number two, a tie on bar number three, a tie across bars four and five, and another tie across bars five and six, okay? Let's look at bar number two. So we have two quarter notes, the first two quarter notes tied together. That's uh, what we did actually at the beginning of the video, okay? Ready? So let's just do bar number two on its own. That's it. Metronome, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, 
Yes. Okay. When you start tying things, you know, the syllables don't really work so well. So you can even say ta, 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 or whatever you want. Okay. Just or sing a note. Okay. So we know that the first two notes are tied together. Fine. Not a big deal. Okay. Now the third bar. Okay. We have a tied going between the third note and the fourth note. Okay. So that's between the second beat and the third beat. Okay. Let's try that. Metronome. One, two, three, and four. Pizza, yeah, P. Pizza, yeah, P. Make sense what I'm doing? So, pizza, yeah, which is yes, right? The quarter note. And then the next pizza, what is supposed to be a pizza, you know, it doesn't have the P. I'm not saying the P anymore because the P is being linked, it's being tied by. The, the previous note, and then I'm only saying the ta after that, okay? So, one, two, three, and four. Pizza, yeah, ta, P. Make sense? Okay. Now, bars four and five, we have a tie across the bar, okay? So, that should be actually pretty straightforward. Let's try it. One, two, three, and four. Avocado pizza, yes, yes, P. Make sense? Again. Avocado pizza, yes, yes, pizza, and so on. Okay. So this is probably the only place in which you would really want to pay a lot of, let's say, more attention, okay? Because it's across the bar and then you have a pizza afterwards, okay? So let's do now bars five and Six. One, two, three, and four. Pizza, pizza, avocado, pizza, pizza, yes? Yes. Okay. Now, in this case, bars five and six, I'm starting directly on bar number five. Okay. So I ignore the tie. I'm just going to start pizza, pizza. That's all. Okay. So that, that's all. The main advice that I want to give you is. When you have a piece with ties, ignore the ties, practice it without ties so your brain understands and respects the value of each note. And then when you put them back, you will hear the notes internally kind of thing with your inner ear. Okay. Now let's do the whole exercise with ties with the metronome to finish. Okay. Ready? Let's do it. Metronome. Okay. One, two, three and go. Yes, 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 yay, yes, yes, pizza, yay, yes, avocado, pizza, yes, yay, pizza, avocado, pizza, pizza, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that was helpful and that actually gives you a little bit of more, you know, understanding and knowledge on how to approach a piece with ties. And it's, you know, it's, it's all about this. It's all about practicing without ties and then practicing with ties, analyzing every single bar or section that has ties, hear them internally. And then when you go about and put the ties back, everything's just going to be a bit more solid and more uh, rhythmically in place because you can actually be hearing every single beat where everything happens. Okay, so guys, that's it. If you find the video helpful and you like the content of the channel, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. That's a big, big support for the channel and I super, super appreciate that. So um, happy time and I will see you next week. Bye.